Welcome back. Alex City is another Alabama community recovering tonight after today's severe weather. WSFA 12 News reporter Julia Avent spoke with Mayor Woody Baird and has the latest. Multiple parts of Alex City hit by severe weather Thursday afternoon. First impact that we had from the tornado was a place called Cedar Creek Road. Alcahatchee, U.S. Highway 63 by intersection 128 and Coven Abbott Highway also impacted. A number of homes and buildings in the area sustaining significant damage. You can see in this picture where a tree fell on top of a state trooper's car, trapping him inside. It, how he lived through that, I don't know. It's, it, it's, it, his roof was leveled, and I mean, his car was to just absolutely, and he was trapped in the car and couldn't get out. Crews are already on the ground working to restore power and clear debris. This is a community effort to get Alex City back on their feet. What is your message to the community? Biggest thing, if you've got people that are affected and you want to help them, fine. If you're just wanting to go out and look, stay at home. Don't come out to sightsee. Julia Avant, WSFA 12 News. And the mayor also wants to alert people that many of the power lines that are down are still active. No fatalities or injuries have been reported there. We have been receiving photos and videos all day long from you in our coverage area showing some of the destruction left behind in your neighborhoods. Tonight, WSFA 12 News anchor Rosanna Smith has some of the highlights. It's videos like this from our viewers that show Mother Nature's wrath. The photos you sent in show the power of the storms and the widespread damage they caused. Justin Lassiter shared these photos of debris scattered across an intersection and down power lines in Selma. In these pictures from Richard Steele, you can see a damaged building and a piece of metal wrapped around a tree. A number of cars and trucks were also significantly damaged across the area. Hope Fritz sent us this picture where you can see a semi truck lying on its side across the road in Titus. In Otaga County, Michael McBride shared this photo of a mobile home flipped upside down in what looks to be a collapsed structure. And a familiar scene across the area, roofs ripped off of homes. Christina Anderson shared these photos from Prattville. Rosanna Smith, WSFA 12 News. You can continue to share your pictures and videos with us. You can do that at WSFA.com slash submit. Go there and just follow the prompts.